was a nice start, wasn't it? <laughs> Thank you, Ember. Thank you very much, Dragon. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much for the subscribe. Thank you. Hope you're doing well. Yes, Mega CD BIOS music. An absolute classic. Though I think the US, uh, I think the US music is better. But uh, yeah, it's, what is it? Flirting with Women Simulator. <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay, if you want to call it that. Oh, I'm finally playing Snatcher. This is going to be good. I have no idea what to expect. So, yeah, let's get straight on with things. Hope you're all doing well. Hi, Creamy Elephant. Hi, third player. Yeah, hope you're all doing well. Bit later than I said I was going to be. Sorry about that. Work. It tends to be work. But I managed to sneak away from it. You also have no idea you only heard things. Mm. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Check the risk. Stream two of telling. Yo, oh, oh my god, are you going to keep a running tally of this? <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> I will add more. I will add more redeems. Sound everything? Uh, sound good and everything? Yeah, looks to be all right. Oh man, I've been looking forward to this for a while. Model 2, yep. Ah, Konami, back when you when you made games. I love the intro for this game. It's great. Um Oh yeah. Sega CD load times. <laughs> what is it, like 1x, 2x? I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, snatch time. Here we go. New game. Joypad only. I don't have a I don't have a light gun or whatever it is they used to use for this. It would be cool to have one, but I don't have one. But hey, let's go. <laughs> The intro for this game just absolutely sells it. This story is dedicated to all those cyberpunks who fight against injustice and corruption every day of their lives. June 6th, 1996. A mysterious explosion destroys the Chernotin research facility near Moscow. Lucifer Alpha, a powerful biological weapon under secret development there, is released into the atmosphere, creating a deadly biohazard. <laughs> Carried by the trade winds, Lucifer Alpha spreads throughout Eastern Europe and Eurasia, destroying 80% of the populace. Half of the world's people die. The greatest biohazard in history later becomes known simply as the catastrophe. But at this time, who could have possibly imagined that the ultimate biohazard wouldn't occur for another half century? Moscow is not fictional. <laughs> 50 years later, mankind faces its greatest crisis, the appearance of a mysterious android life form. Its purpose and origin are unknown. Is it a new form of weapon? Or perhaps an invasion from some other world. They appear during winter killing humans and infiltrating society by taking the place of their victims. Employing an artificial skin, they can sweat and even bleed. Part organic, part machine, they're almost impossible to distinguish from those they kill. As they steal their victims' bodies in order to take their place, these mysterious invaders become known as Snatchers. And they absolutely not stop until you are dead. <laughs> You're jealous of a video game. Hmm. Oh, have you played it before? Back when Kojima didn't write stories ball by himself. Hmm.
Stay in tune in three. check out Police Knots as well. I need to get a copy of that and um, use the translation, the official one. Everything okay? Mm. Gillian, what is it? What's wrong? Jamie, I've become a junker. A junker? Gillian, but why? Jamie, you know why. It's the only way we can regain our lost memories. Snatcher is the only word that keeps coming back every time we try to remember our past. I have to face them to find out why. Yes, but I can sense that there is something terrible hidden in our past. And if we remember it, it will destroy us. Jamie! I'm going now. Jamie! What? I can't hear you! Estimated age, 31. Three years ago, he and his wife, Jamie Seed, are taken into protective custody in the Siberian neutral zone by the 17th Siberian Investigative Force. Both Gillian and Jamie suffer from severe amnesia. Their memories of events prior to being picked up in Siberia, lost in a mysterious mental fog. Two years ago, after a vain attempt to rebuild their marriage, Jamie and Gillian separate. Following extensive special military training, Gillian is ordered to report to Neo Kobe City as a junker, effective today. Ah, oh, that's such a good intro. Sony? Hmm. All right. Act one, snatch. Welcome to Junker Headquarters. May I help you? Hmm. I will look around. 
She's a beautiful oriental woman. She sort of looks like the actress. Uh, what's her name? Heck of a lot better than the army, that's for sure. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Uh, this looks promising. They've got some real beauties on the staff. Wow. You can just keep looking and, yeah, random stuff comes up to me. Uh, look at the poster. Look at recruiting it. Okay. Just saying, this guy's married. Hmm. Well, were they separated? Not exactly the best taste, if you ask me. Are you here to answer the chunky help wanted advertisement? Um, well, I guess so. Not exactly the best taste. I'm um, sorry, may I have your name, please? Are you interested in Junker operations? I am, but not right now. I want to look around. It's a type reception unit. It's where the operator sits in a shielded capsule. This is some pretty heavy stuff they've got here. This place may be more dangerous than I thought. This is how you protect the operator. Mm -hmm. Security camera. <laughs> Maybe I should try waving. Who are you with, sir? He's into the inside. I won't read out everything. <laughs> I'll let uh, I'll let, I'll let you, everybody else do the reading. Interesting vault. Hmm. Um, investigate. No use. And shop proof. Yep. May I have your name? No, not yet. Alright, fine. Only we'll junk personnel allowed inside. I'll talk. Hi. The young woman over there. I'm Gillian Seed. I've been assigned to Junker headquarters effective today. Oh, you're Mr. Seed. Please forgive me. My name is Mika Slayton. I'm the administrative assistant and operator here at Junker headquarters. Very pleased to meet you. Oh, look at you. You're really very pretty. Thank you. chance to work with someone as beautiful as you. Somehow I feel like we've met before. Hmm. I bet you use that line on all the girls. And Gillian immediately coming off as a creep. Yeah, this is going to be a very slow-paced game, I think, but that's alright. Junker name on it. Hey Sneeze! How are you doing? Thanks for showing up. Coggy Raid. <laughs> I know it's a bit much, but it's supposed to protect from snatchers. What? Snatchers even attack up here? Yes, it's happened several times before. They're not stupid, you know. You're good. Oh, that's good. Good to hear. I must look really uptight. Maybe I better stop wandering around. Lucas says hi and he's on the bus. Hi, Lu hi Lucas. Hope you're having a nice bus ride, I guess. Chief always wants us to feed from my camera. I am going to be looking at and investigating everything. <laughs> How do you like it? I bet you'd like to see the office, right? Yes, I would. Investigate, investigate Mika. Too bad I can't get in there. She's truly gorgeous. Wow, Gillian, slow down. 
Japanese undercover neurokinetic elimination ranger. That's what a junker stands for. They also stand for truth and justice. I've been assigned to junker headquarters affected today. You just told me that. <laughs> Pretty good memory, Mr. Seed, especially if it's concerning an attractive man like you. My god, you've only just met and you've already wanted a yeah, no, fine. Investigate area. If I wonder too much, I'll make a bad first impression. Can I ask you something? Ask about junkers. Can you tell me a bit about junker operations? Junkers are a special task force put together to combat the Byroid Snatcher menace. It's overseen by government intelligence agencies. Alright, what about Neo Kobe? This is my first time. Well, you'll get used to it right away. Everyone's pretty welcome. There are many different ethnic groups and types of people here. It's Japan, but it's not Japan, if you know what I mean. Mm, how about you? Tell me a bit more about yourself. Me? Isn't that a bit forward, Mr. Seed? Let me tell you about myself first. Then you'll tell me. I can tell you're very smooth and light. Mm. All right, now I can enter. Mr. Seed? Gillian's fine. You can call me Gillian, Mika. Okay, Gillian. I'll open the main door and show you around headquarters. Hmm. I shall show you first. How about... How about the detective room? Oh, that's right. The chief told me to bring you down as soon as you showed up. The chief? Yes, our big boss here at Junker Headquarters. That's his office right over there. Chief Cunningham, Gillian Seed is here. I've brought him in as you requested. Thanks for coming, Seed. I'm Benson Cunningham, the chief of Junker Operations. Gillian Seed, I've been transferred here from the 17th Special Forces Division. I've heard all about your special training in the military, Seed. I hope you'll put it to good use on your new assignment here. By the way, I understand you're suffering from amnesia. Any sign yet that your memory's coming back? I'm afraid not. I still can't remember a thing from before the Army picked me up three years ago. You're married, aren't you? Yes, but we're separated now. She has amnesia as well, and without any memories between the two of us, I'm afraid there was very little to base a good relationship on. I can see your point there. That makes sense. Not a great start, Gillian. <laughs> yeah. Smooth. <laughs> hmm. All right, let's look around. Look at the chief. So he's the chief of drug corporations, just as I imagined him. Did you say something? Dad, no. Look. Information from all over the world is continuously pouring in. It's a nice view of Neo Kobe. Too bad there are snatchers lurking out there somewhere. Neo Kobe at night. Great view, don't you think? Looks alright from the hundred so pixels I can see. Picture of a Vase, eh? What a funny design. That's, that's an odd looking sofa. Oh, but it looks pretty comfortable. Alright, take that back then. Let's investigate the sofa. Tell me where you were on the night of the murder. Oh, it's an air cushion type sofa. It's in robot sofas, employing AL system technology. <laughs> Okay. Whatever you say, Hideo. It's taste in art. Don't touch that picture. Very special to me. No, I want to investigate the picture. Stop it, Seed. That picture's precious to me. Don't touch it. Is it really valuable? There are some things that money can't buy. Hmm. I think you mentioned it. When did you hand that picture, though? I always thought this office needed a little livening up. You're interested in art? Well, you know. No, I don't know. Tell me. Stop it, Seed. <laughs> okay. All right, fine. Picture's off limits. All 
ultra high resolution display panel capable of displaying back holograms. Ooh, okay. Investigate. Investigate, chief. See? <laughs> no, I'm no snatcher. Get off of me. <laughs> uh, Alright, I'll ask. Ask him out. Jumper's gone. Junk headquarters were set up a year ago by the police as a special task force to combat the snatcher problem. Junker operations were officially started in August of this year. The answer directly to the government's intelligence agencies. This poster is really pretty tacky. <laughs> oh, really? That's my design, by the way. Ooh, I got all good. Chief, your taste is right out of the dark ages. Mm, authority. Junker operates within certain rules and privileges that different from regular police officers. Those are 1. The purpose of a Junker force is to eliminate Bioroid snatchers. 2. A Junker, even in the course of carrying out one, must not harm innocent civilians. 3. A subject may not be physically investigated or restrained unless irrefutable evidence exists that indicates the subject is indeed a snatcher. 4. A Junker is required to assist and support civilian bounty hunters. 5. In order to carry out one, a Junker is allowed the use of a blaster and a navigator and a turbo cycle. Those are the five rules. Alright. Mm. What duties then? Junker's job is to figure out who the snatchers are and to eliminate them. I want you to put your special training in the military to good use and investigate those points about snatchers that we don't yet understand. We've got to put a stop to them. Alright. Junker's job is highly specialized, that's why extremely dangerous. That's why there are so few of us. I'm the chief, Harry's the engineer, and there's Mika Gibson, and you are our runners. It's just the five of us. Alright. About snatchers. Yes, three years ago the snatchers suddenly appeared here in Neo Kobe. We have no idea where they come from or what they want. We do know that they kill, copy the appearance of their victims, and take their place in society, and their numbers are increasing. That should be enough to make your duties as a Junker quite clear. This is your Junker ID card. It will identify you as a Junker. Carrying it allows you to exercise your special authority. I see. Sort of like a police officer's badge, huh? And uh, here's some money. It's not much, but you'll need it to carry out your investigation. Cash? Credit cards aren't accepted in some regions of the city. You'll need this sooner or later. Sounds like it's a rough place out there. Go see Harry, the engineer. He's got your equipment ready for you. But I wasn't done asking about things. What are navigators? <clears throat> it's a robot designed to assist Junkers by performing all types of analysis. It's got a pretty good sensor setup, too. Okay. Anything else? Nope. Possessions, what have I got? Look at Junker ID. This card gives me all the special rights of a Junker. I'll be carrying this as my ID from here on out. See that card is very important. Take great, great, great care not to lose it, alright? Look at oh, cash. This is the cash they gave me for expenses. Having to carry cash around is so inconvenient. I'll investigate. ID with a special IC chip built in. All of my personal data is recorded on this card. Alright. It's cold, hard cash. There should be plenty to get the job done with. I'll show the chief. Look at what I got. It's proof that you're a junker. Take good care of it. Alright. Here's some funds for expenses. Don't waste them. Um. Alright, well, I guess we're done here. Oh, go on, I'll investigate the, bar, the picture one more time. Stop it, the pressures, don't touch it. Alright, bye. Where would I like to go next? Um, I think I was told to go to the engineering room. This is engineering, all the junkers. That's the runners. Equipment is made here. Doesn't look like carries around at the moment. Well, since nobody's around at the moment, Mika, I'll just stare at your face for a bit. You are truly beautiful, Mika. Thanks, Gillian. I'll take that at face value. Mika. Yes? What do you want? I can sense that you and I are destined to fall in love. It might sound crazy, but... Gillian, you're married, aren't you? Totally not Blade Runner, you guys. Yeah, this is totally not Blade Runner at all. <laughs> 
if he really can make it as a junker, wow, it would be doubted. All right, look at the area. There are tools and machines all over the place. It's a regular factory in here. This room always looks like this. I don't know how he finds anything. Mm. Ask about Harry. Harry Benson is our engineer. He's a bit of a lush, but he's a friendly and sweet old guy. Navigators. Every Junker investigator gets an analysis robot. Quite a combination, eh? We call them robot navigators. Okay. Ask about Gibson. His wife was killed by a snatcher two years ago after that he quit his detective job and became a Junker. Since then he's been living with his daughter Katrina. All the names are in yellow. I should remember these. It's about Katrina. She's Jean's only child. She turned 18 this year. Right. Possessions. Uh, show, Mika. Look at all the cash I got. I show expenses money so you can use it while you're on investigation. All right. Nope. It's probably not a good idea to show that to people too much. All right. Hmm. Well, there's nobody here, so I guess I'll go look around elsewhere. I would like to go to... Hmm. Detective room. This is the detective room. It's the office for our runners. That's what we call junker investigators like you. You'll be using that desk in the back. Oh. What about the desk near the door here? That's Gene's desk. Gene Jack Gibson. He's our ace runner. Can't make his face again. All right. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, look at. Oh, good monitor. Trying to impress you by showing you your cash. Yeah. Look at my cash. Look at all my cold hard cash I got. A lot of information flows into here. All the information available to our runners is output from Jordan. All right. What is Jordan? Uh, yeah, desk. This is an antique desk. She's really into antiques. Desk, huh? I wonder what he's like. Bar desk. Looks like a nice desk, but I probably won't be using it much. Anything else? Looks like a nice desk. Uh, look. Look at the area. This place is really different from other detectives' offices. Um. Can I ask you about anything new? No. Nope. Uh. I'll look at the monitor again. All right, I'm out. We'll go to the little computer room. This is Junk Headwalter's computer room. It's linked to databases throughout the country so you can find almost any information you might need. Uh, Mika. They're definitely laying it on too thick, don't you think? <laughs> wow. Nice. Computer. Antiques in the computer room, eh? I haven't seen a keyboard in some time. A number of input and output devices are linked to the host computer. It's smaller than I expected. So this is your host computer, eh? The RM1013 model. Ask. Ask about computer. How do I computer? <clears throat> this is our host computer, a model RM1013. We call it Jordan. That's for Junkinal, uh, Junker Online Regional Data Access Network. A bit like Shodan, but it's Jordan instead. It employs a full-scale artificial intelligence-based processors. Jordan is fully programmed with all human learning routines and uses an intelligent interface to perform automatic translation, problem solving, you name it. It employs expert class artificial intelligence routines developed for field work robots. It's the best there is. Hmm, how to use. First, put your junker card in this slot. Once it's confirmed you as a user, you just follow the instructions that Jordan flashes on screen. Interesting. Use Jordan. Go ahead, sit down here. Once you're registered on the system, the rest is easy. I am Jordan, Junker Headquarters host AI computer system. Please insert your ID card. What, has this thing got a personality? Hold on. Okay, Junker card going in. 
User confirmed as Gillian Seed. Welcome to Jordan. What sort of information do you need? Well, at least it let me in. Hmm. Load ID file, load fact file. Go on, ID file. Jordan ID file. Use the cursor to input the name of the person you're searching for. Input first name, then last name without a space. Example, input John Konami as John Konami. Or you can search with just a first name, for example, John. Wow, it covers the whole country and it can search by first names. All right. Enter name. Hmm. Well, let's do an ego search. Gillian Seed. Cannot execute request. You do not possess a high enough security clearance to view this data. Try looking up Kojima. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I could do that. I do not possess a high enough security clearance to view my own data. A minimum class 7 ID is necessary to open this data gate. What can I get at this data? Hmm. All right. Video. Can you spell his name? Please search for a file under last name. Hmm. Maybe just... Well, Hideo, he wasn't famous enough when this game was made, so I don't think... I don't think he would have gotten an entry. <laughs> you know, this is... This is... Pre... You know... Hideo Kojima fame, I think. Um... Who else could I enter? Ooh, how about... Mika. Slate. Mika Slate. First name Hideo, <clears throat> last name is Kojima. Yep. Oh, you can search just with first name, but it didn't work. Mika Slayton, Administrative Assistant, Junker Agency, age 23, height 167 centimeters, weight 50 kilograms, wow, blood type A, marital status single, graduated from Neo Kobe City University, with dual major in criminal psychology and municipal data management, worked at Kobe Crime Research Lab before moving to Junker Agency, handled numerous unusual cases at the lab and solved them by using a dangerous technique of attaining complete sim simpatico with the criminals but psychological stress from her job led her to resign recommendation from junker chief led her to joining the agency hmm what was is it mike cunningham i just search mike oh mike gallo birthday 11 26 1971 zodiac sign Sagittarius, blood type B, personality allowed, nickname BFM. Favorite game, Castlevania 2095. <laughs> Message, it's a mental state. <laughs> what was that about? <laughs> All right, uh, Cunningham. Let's try that. There's two ends. Cunning. Oops. Matching names. Hmm. Enter name. What about. What about my wife? Or ex wife? I think her name was spelt this way? Jamie. Or Janie. Was it Janie or Jamie? I don't remember. Can I execute a request? You do not possess a high enough security clearance to view this data. A minimum class 7 ID is necessary. Why can't I access Jamie's data? For some reason I can't access to my own or to Jamie's data. Mika, what's this level 7 information class? Level 7? That's way above even the chief. That's really odd. Hmm. Suspicious. Um. Alright. Fact file. 
Please select the category you wish to search. Wow. History. Politics. Culture science. History. The catastrophe. On June 6, 1996, a mysterious explosion destroyed the Chernoton research facility near Moscow. The explosion released a biological weapon called Lucifer Alpha, which had been under development by the old Soviet regime into the atmosphere, creating the greatest biohazard in history. Within one week, the bacteria spread throughout Eastern Europe and Eurasia, killing 80% of the population there. Six months later, Lucifer Alpha suddenly mutated into a non-lethal form. Northern Eurasia, now an unpopulated wasteland, was, was designated and remains a United Nations neutral zone to prevent unauthorized exploitation since the disaster which has become known simply as the catastrophe. Hundreds of research papers have been published purporting to reveal its causes but the real reason behind it remains unknown. Hmm. Junkers. Oh my god, there's so much to read. <laughs> Snatchers. Insector. Let's learn about Snatchers for a bit. Insectors. Spider-shaped probe security robots used by Snatchers. Thread-like sensor apparatus deployed from the rear of the robot's trigger needle guns. Attack if touched or approached. Microjet powered. Known to jump. Length 30 centimeters. Weight 500 grams. Specimens recovered from study by Junk Team. Invariably self-destruct preventing further analysis. Distinguishing features. Snatcher. Characteristics. Snatchers operate almost exclusively at night and during the winter months. Snatchers only snatch VIPs. Their ultimate goal appears not to be to snatch itself, but some secondary effect. Snatchers' targets are restricted by their physical size. While they can adjust the size of their major body areas, these adjustments are limited. As such, the victims are exclusively persons of 150 to 180 centimeters in height. This makes snatching of children, the elderly, etc., impossible. Snatchers' weapons at mouth firing laser cannon. We point thin slit portions of their skull armor, which make head size adjustments possible. Interesting. Well, I will read more of this. Wait, hang on, that's something about World War Three. World War Three. Twenty ten to twenty eleven. On August eighth, twenty ten, fourteen years after the catastrophe, war broke out. War broke out over possession of northern Eurasia, left uninhabited by the disaster. Conservative Soviet leaders who managed to survive the catastrophe received military support from China and launched an invasion of the region. Nevertheless, Western economic sanctions forced the Chinese to withdraw his support, this support, leading to victory for Western forces. Ending just six months after it began, this conflict became known as the Half-Year War. Huh. Witch hunt. The law runs deep. Witch hunts, aka byroid hunts, a social phenomenon caused by the snatcher problem, a form of group violence involving a lynching of numerous innocent individuals who are believed to be byroid snatchers in reality. In general, individuals of lower so social standing were the targets of the attacks, named after the medieval witch hunts which took place in Salem, Massachusetts, due to similarity of the two occurrences. The phenomenon underscored the north south rift of modern society form of revulsion at the growing poverty problem. Well-to-do groups from the north attacked the slum dwellers in the southern regions, resulting in great loss of life to individuals who had no connection to the Snatcher menace. The problem died out when it became clear that Snatchers only targeted individuals of high social standing. There is a lot here. Yeah, I'm, I'll read it later though. Let's go back. Oh god, how do I get out of this? Culture, science, politics? Interesting. Thank you for using Jordan. I look forward to our next session together. I do too. All right. Um, let's, let's go. Uh, shooting range. Shooting range. Junkers come here to equip with their marksmanship. Dylan, you haven't got your blaster yet, have you? Let's hurry and go visit Larry. Let's go see Larry. I think she gets some practice in first. Yes, but come on, let me take a crack at it. All right, if you must practice, I'll let you use my ray gun, but it doesn't have the power of a blaster. Is that okay? Yeah, thanks, Mika. Okay, let's start shooting practice. If you press the A button, you can draw your blaster. Press C to fire. You can put your blaster away by pressing the A button again. Are you ready? Remember, shoot only snatchers. Be careful you don't hit any civilians. 
red gauge on the left shows the number of targets to appear, the yellow gauge on the right shows the number of hits. We'll start it on introductory level. Good luck! Fantastic! A perfect score! You're quite the shot, aren't you? Wow, a perfect score right off the bat. I bet you've done this before, haven't you? No, ma'am. First time out. I can't stand liars, you know. It's all due to the practice I had in military, uh, Mika. You're doing fantastic. If you can just cut down on the wasted shots, you'll have it perfect. Let's go see Harry. All right. All we need to do is find Harry. Nice. <laughs> I will try and get a perfect score when I get my blaster. Uh, Harry is in here? Harry's got to be back by now. I don't know. He's quite the freewheeling type. Oh, good. Harry's back. Great to meet you. You're uh, Gillian Seed, right? Haven't we met somewhere before? No, I don't believe so. Really? Well, I guess I must be imagining things. Look at Harry. Somehow I get the same impression. Have I met this guy somewhere? What's wrong? Do I have something hanging from my nose? <laughs> Look at the wall. There's a poster and a photograph on the wall. Right? Oh, poster. Looks like a poster from the late 20th century. Is that Marilyn Monroe? What? You know who she is? You've got good taste for a youngster. Oh, thank you. Photo. It's the picture... It's on the wall. It's a photograph of a small boy. That's a picture of me as a kid. It's my only memory of my childhood. Wow. What, are you being in the picture or are you having a picture taken? Uh, investigate. I'll investigate you, Harry. Those are odd work clothes. Let me take a look at those. Hey, what are you doing? Stop that. <laughs> investigate the poster. Very old. Kind of printing technology hasn't been used since the last century. Keep your hands off that, will ya? It's pretty fragile. Right. Appears to have been cut out of a larger photo. Alright, I'll ask about... Navigators. I know, I know. Alright, allow me to introduce the Navigator, which I designed especially for you. Hey, Metal Gear, get out here! Tiny. Metal, introduce yourself. Yes, sir. Pleased to meet you, Gillian. I am Metal Gear Mach 2. I am programmed to be your personal assistant. Metal Gear? That's a pretty weird name. Oh, he's cute. Uh, thank you. I think he's turning red. I took his basic design and his name from the Metal Gear Menace of the late 20th century. But, uh, quite unlike that Metal Gear, this one was designed for peaceful purposes. Hmm... Metal Gear... Ask about Metal Gear. Navigators are designed from the start as the Junker's nav uh, investigative assistant. On-site detection, analysis, recording, communications, you name it. They're packed with features, and Metal Gear here is the latest model. What about an attack system? Don't they carry any weapons? Afraid not, they're unarmed. After all, the main idea behind the navigator is to assist in investigations data management. But they do have a save function. Just choose the use Metal Gear command and then the save command. You can record the exact status of your investigation that way. In the same way, you can use the use light command to help you see when it's too dark. I told you, they're nice to have around. How about communications? Does he have some kind of radio? Yep, there's a video phone installed. Video phone. That's right, just select use Metal Gear and then use video phone to access it. In theory, you can use it anywhere. 
but you have to watch out for interference. Sometimes the signal just can't get through. Hmm. Always the way. Can I have my gun, please? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's right. Uh, don't panic yourself. I got it right over here. This is your blaster, the official weapon of a junker. It's got full user feedback circuitry, adjusting itself to your reaction time. In other words, it's just as good as you are. What do you think? Here, see how she feels. It's unbelievably light. <laughs> you bet it is. This ain't one of those ray guns the army uses. She's put together with the latest carbon polymers and ceramics, not affected by heat one bit. And her ergonomic design optimizes both functionality and firepower. Well, what do you think, Gillian? I'll take it. Sweet. Uh, ask about snatchers. You're an engineer. Tell me about how snatchers are built. It's odd, but we've never been able to get a specimen. They're always stolen or self-destructed. They have any weaknesses? They're built really well, so it's tough to destroy them outright. Try to immobilize them. They've got these slits on the head for some reason. A well-placed shot there will often destroy their control functions. That's why it's important to practice your marksmanship. I have a video phone call from Jean-Jacques Gibson coming in. Connecting. Junker HQ, this is Gibson. I've cornered a probable male snatcher. I'm in the abandoned factory in the M District. Request immediate backup. Gillian, that means you. You better head out right away. Jean needs your help. We must hurry. We'll use a turbo cycle to travel to the scene. Be careful, Gillian. This is a turbo cycle, specially designed for junker use. In addition to three-wheeled ground travel, it is capable of hovering and high-speed flight. The vehicle is also VTOL capable, so takeoffs and landings in narrow areas present no difficulty. A flying tricycle, huh? I just came in on one of these things. We have been assigned this vehicle for use in our investigations. Oh boy, we got a live one over here. <laughs> hmm. Look. Brand new and was just tuned up. It's a 47 Interceptor. It's built by the same company that builds the shuttle. Tight. On the ground, it runs on three wheels, but they're retracted during the flight. parking lot several turbo cycles apart all right investigate the area nobody in the parking lot the tire there's no problem the tires also have inspector stamp on them all right. ah! <laughs> hi shelby <Rawr. laughs> thank you very much hello hope you had a nice bus ride <laughs> built with the latest cer uh, ceramo plastics and carbon polymers. It doesn't even have a scratch on it. Hmm. Do we use Metal Gear? Maybe. No, I won't use Metal Gear yet. I will enter the turbo cycle. We're in the turbo cycle. Yeah, Metal Gear. <laughs> we'll still need to see Metal Gear Mark II return in... Oh no, spoilers! Ah! I'm not looking. I'm not looking. I'm not going to finish the rest of that sentence. <laughs> We're in the turbo cycle. Operation is computer controlled. Where would you like to go? I would like to go to... I can go to my home? Why would I want to go to my home? Uh, let's go to the factory rooms. Now departing for the abandoned factory. First day on the job, and now this. Ace Junker Gibson is cornered a suspected snatcher. I wonder if this guy really is a snatcher. Guess I'll find out now if all that training really paid off. Alright, here we are. If you arrived at the abandoned factory, what would you like to do? I would like to... I would like to get out. <laughs> arrived at the abandoned factory. This is where Jean called from. 
Judging from its design, let's say it dates from the period when men production techniques were still used. It appears abandoned, right? The sky is getting quite dark. It looks like a storm may be coming in. This place is quite run down. It looks deserted. The building is heavily damaged. It's probably been abandoned. Mm. There's nothing unusual. Sign that anybody's around. John doesn't appear to be out here, he's probably in the building. Mm. Motion detector. Metal, are you reading anything? Can't tell from here, we'll have to move inside. Oh no! What was that? A male scream. Perhaps something has happened to Jean Jacques. Gillian. Please use extreme caution. I read multiple moving objects within the factory. This could indicate the presence of snatchers or insectors. Insectors? What in the world's that? A spider-like robot used by snatchers as security devices. Though compact in size, they are armed with needle guns. Use extreme caution. Investigate. Show multiple moving objects within the building. It's like to make some amazing YouTube bits. Oh, is that a YouTuber? <laughs> possessions. Hmm. I don't think any of my possessions are going to help me right now. It gives you all the special privileges to take good care of it. Hmm. All right. <sighs> Here we go. All right, we're going in. Keep your blaster ready. Push the A button to draw your blaster. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Anything could happen in here. You might want to save frequently just in case disaster strikes. <laughs> Entered the factory. This is the spot where you place the video phone call. The shinies come from different directions now. Yes, they do. Don't know how it happened, but yes, they do. <laughs> you know, also, also, there's some other commands in the uh, in the about section. Walk around, walk the ground. It's debris everywhere. Please watch where you stare. Whoa, there are pipes running everywhere. See, it looks quite weak. All right. severely damaged it should be demolished it's been weakened by rust okay scan the area of my senses but I can't pick up anything special concrete here is quite corroded hang on concrete concrete can corrode At any moment, we must be careful. Mm. Special. Where is Jean Jacques anyway? <laughs> I'm ready for it. Gimme, gimme. Ow, burger. <laughs> Good throw. Uh, investigate. Motion detector. <laughs> Metal, are you picking anything up? Nothing is moving. That's odd. What happened to Jean? Now listen, it's uncomfortably quiet here. Depends. What the? It's Little John. Little John? Yes, Jean Jacques Gibson's personal navigator. Hmm. Seems to be damaged, some of the wiring is sticking out. Crap, Little John's parts are spread everywhere. This is awful. Oh no. Metal Gear, don't look. You're too young for this. There's wreckage everywhere. I don't detect anything special. 
has been demolished. There's no way repair. There's no way to repair damage this bad. Oh dear. Boy, they really wasted him. Alright. Well, maybe I should listen first. Can't confirm any sound except for the water droplets and little John shorting. Investigate. Motion detector. Picking anything up? No, I'm not getting anything. Charing indicates he was hit by fire from a laser cannon. All his circuits have burned completely through. His functions have been completely terminated. Nevertheless, his memory may be all or partially intact. Where's Gibson? The navigator never leaves his run aside unless there's a very serious reason. We have to hurry, Gibson's in trouble. Um. Ooh, can I take the memory chip? Well. What do you think? Can you get this memory chip out of there in one piece? I will attempt it. Now retrieving memory chip. Memory chip retrieved. Hmm. Anything else on Little John? Oh, nothing else. Alright, okay. Oh, poor Little John. Oh, well. Sessions. Can I investigate the... Oh, no. I can't investigate the chip. Move ahead, I guess. They're moving ahead. Wait, there's a figure on the floor. On the ground, he dropped his blaster here. It's been crushed flat. This would take. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Ow! Thank you, sneeze. Gibson, my god, his head's been completely twisted off. Wow. He's got ahead of himself. Wish I didn't have to meet him like this. I can't believe they killed him. Obviously cut it while shaving. <laughs> of a struggle on the ground here, but I can't interpret it. Blaster John's blaster has been bent like a twig. Right, investigate. Is anything moving? No, no reading. Guess whoever did this left. Investigate. Yeah. Still warm. The scream we heard was no doubt his. do not kill him. His head has been twisted off. He died instantly. It would take incredible strength to do this. Metal Gear, there was a key in one of his pockets. Ooh. Okay, the key. This item is quite an antique. Ah. like this is still used. I'm going to this key as evidence. Anything else on Gibson? Oh, wait, there's a scrap of paper in one of his pockets. Search the house. What is that supposed to mean? paper who knows this could be Jean's last words metal keep this as evidence storing paper in my internal chamber all right um. 
look, Jean's holding something in his right hand. Right. Its hair is holding several strands of hair. In addition, there's a skin tissue under his nails, probably from scratching his attacker. Now analyzing recovered hair sample. Analysis complete. Results on the display. One, chromosomal analysis of cells from the papilla and root reveal 46XY. Subject is male. Two, hair color, brown. Hair structure reading of 65 indicates European subject, wavy hair. Three, attachment of root structure and thickness of the base of the strand suggest hair was pulled out of follicle. Four, enzyme antibody analysis indicates subject is blood type A, RH factor negative. Five, cell component distribution indicates presence of artificial protein compounds. The results of the analysis strongly suggest that the strand of hair was pulled from the scalp of Jean's attacker during their struggle. This strand of hair almost certainly came from a male European blood type A negative snatcher. Wow. Metal, Metal Gear, you don't waste any time, do you? Now analyzing recovered tissue sample. Analysis complete. Results on the display. One, enzyme antibody analysis indicates subject is blood type O, RH factor negative. Two, chromosomal analysis of cells in the sample reveal 46XX, subject is female. Three, cell component distribution indicates presence of artificial protein compounds. Four, number of melanocytes in sample indicates that subject is Caucasian. The results of the analysis strongly suggest that the tissue sample, a cluster of skin cells, was scraped from the subject during a struggle with Jean. These skin cells almost certainly came from a female European blood type O negative snatcher. One, more than one involved a kind of probable male snatcher. Mm. Several shots, ending a blast like this, well beyond the strength of any human. No doubt it was a snatcher. Uncomfortably quiet. Uh, anything else? I wish I didn't have to be too like this. An analysis of Jean's stomach reveals a major lesion on the pyloric region of the gastric membrane. So, Jean had an ulcer, huh? Yes. In addition, I read a substantial quantity of partially digested organic compounds. Organic compounds? If you can determine the composition and the degree to which the food's been digested, we may be able to figure out where Jean's been. Oh, great. I'm going to cut him open now and have a root roundly in his stomach. Okay. I investigate organic compounds. Go on, then. Let's get gross. Now making incision in Jean's stomach to analyze organic compounds present. Analysis complete. Results on the display. Results of the analysis indicate the organic compounds are primarily composed proteins that have been exposed to digestive acids for approximately three hours. Amino acid structure of the protein suggests the meat is that of a buffalo. Buffalo meat? Yes, buffalo meat. The results indicate that Jean ate buffalo meat somewhere about three hours before he was killed. I'm reading movement. Uh-oh. Something was ran across the doorway. Snatchers? Unable to confirm. I suggest we investigate. All right, I'm ready for you. end and where did they go oh we just got very quiet <laughs> plot by a cave in can't go any further there's no way we could possibly move this out of the way that's weird when did those statues go they definitely headed in this direction didn't they uh hmm Investigate. Motion detector, anything? No, nothing. 
<laughs> ah, you okay? That's weird. I was fine until a moment ago. Please stay quiet. What's wrong? Maybe it's a sensor defect, but I'm picking up a sound of something in the distance. Yeah. I can hear it. Seems like my eyes are going out on me. Maybe it's due to a change in air pressure? So is this set in the same universe as Metal Gear? Technically, yes. Technically, it is. Investigate. Anything in your senses? No. There's something which sounds like a timer. can hear something. I can't hear a thing. Try turning up the volume on the TV. Um, all right. All right, turn, turn my headphones up. Oh, well, either the menu has gone quieter. Uh, I turn the volume up. <laughs> That's kind of neat. Um, Something's going on. Picking up something up from, from the direction of Little John. I thought Little John's functions were totally dead. All right, investigate. Ground? Oops. Water is dripping from the sprinkler. Ground. I don't see anything that would help our investigation. All right, fine. Look at Little John. Whoa! A t time bomb! Evacuate immediately! There is little time! Anything could happen. You should probably save frequently just to be... Okay. Now that you mention it, I haven't saved even once since arriving in the factory. Okay. Can I use the video phone? Sorry, I can't get a clear frequency. Why not? It's probably due to the presence of Snow 9. Snow 9? It's a bioengineered form of pollen which interferes with radio transmissions. Snow 9. Hmm, okay. Port analysis results. Oh, that's just listening. Alright, fine, I'll save, I'll save, I'll save. I'll save everything that's happened up until now. Which file number would you like to save it in? One. Save complete. Would you like to continue? I would like to continue. Now returning to the investigation. Well, I think I I think it might be time for us to go. Insectors, uh oh. Press the A button to draw a blaster. I know I practiced at HQ. All right. Motion reading has vanished. Well, this has been a guess. Time to go. We're getting out of here. Sorry, I cannot go with you. What's wrong with you? Hurry it up. I am incapable of locomotion. What on earth are you blabbering about? Let's go. It's going to blow. Please save yourself. I am paralyzed with fear. Oh, I can't believe this stupid robot! Come on! Ow. Jeez, my ear 
ears are really ringing. That's because you left the volume turned up. Damn snatchers. There is no need for concern. I have stored all the information about the evidence and the area in my memory. We should return to Junker headquarters. Phew. We've returned to Junker headquarters. Ooh, that was some first day. Now entering the building. We've entered the lobby. Gillian, I heard about Jean. I'm sorry. I wish I could have done more. You performed your duties quite satisfactorily. That's right. It's not your fault, Gillian. Don't worry about it. By the way, the chief is waiting for you. This is the chief's office. Well, Seed, that was a pretty rough first assignment to draw. You made a great effort, though. I've studied the data transmitted back by Metal Gear, so I know all about what happened out there. It's too bad about Gibson. He was a great junker. Seed, I need you to take over for him. You're the only one I've got left who can battle this Snatcher menace. Too bad about Gibson. Oh well. Hmm. Let's, let's look at the picture again. No references to my data on such a painting. So it's by some unknown, eh? Strange picture. There's nothing unusual about it. It appears to be a regular painting. Hmm. Here's the chief about anything something important about them but he didn't tell me a thing he never said anything unless he was absolutely sure of himself Katrina's the real victim in this I'll let her know what happened but she had to be in great shock to her yeah she's probably not very happy right now oh investigative yes based on the analysis of the hair strands he was grasping and the skin tissue found under his nails we reasonably, we're reasonably certain that at least one male and one female snatcher were involved in killing him. We've got to learn what was up to. What was he after? What was he investigating when he was killed? To find that out, you should start by checking out the detective's room and then his home. Ah, I have a key. That might be useful. Uh, I'll show you the evidence. We don't use those around here, at least not standard issue, anyway. Hmm. Right, back. Yeah, let's go to the detective room. Detective room. We should investigate Jean's personal items. We must learn what he was doing. I need to do I need to yeah investigate the desk this drawer is installed this drawer I'm afraid it's locked I cannot open it key nobody uses keys anymore as I recall Jean had a key use key Floppy disk. Hmm. Floppy disk, huh? Five inch floppy disk. Five inch disk, nobody uses those anymore. What would the capsule be? What kind of medicine is this? I'll perform an analysis. Acid inhibitors, membrane protecting agents, H2 blockers. This is medication for an ulcer. Jeez, it looks like Jean's stomach was really in terrible shape. I mean, what was he doing eating buffalo? 
That seems a little unusual. Perhaps there was some reason that he had to eat buffalo. I know all about stomach problems. <laughs> Let's get the locker. There's a coat hanging inside. Chess piece. A chess piece. Made of wood. Oh, hmm. okay. Anything else in the coat? Nope. Anything else in there? Straw. You have no idea what's going on. <laughs> it. Uh, so this is basically Blade Runner. Um, but it's a game, and we're just investigating what happened. Mm, all right. Uh, let's go to the computer room. Shiny food, shiny food. Mmm. Thank you. Thank you, Ember. Oh, use card. Welcome to Jordan. What sort of information do you need? Shiny food. <laughs> Sounds dangerous. Can I not use the uh, thingamabob in here? I wonder if there's any facts on Jacques. On John. Enter name. Dogs do eat gems. <laughs> well, some of us. Jean Jacques Gibson, runner, Junker, Junker Agency. Age 55, weight, height 185, weight 78. Blue type O plus, family, wife, Alice, deceased. Daughter, Katrina, age 18, officers in police science division. Since 2015, wife killed by snatcher in Bayroid Panic of 2046. Requests that is granted transfer to Junker Agency. 2047, killed in the line of duty while pursuing a suspected snatcher. Hmm. Oh no, it hoss. <laughs> Enter name. Alice. Alice Gibson, housewife, deceased, age at time of death 40, height 165, weight 55, blood type B minus, family husband Jean Jacques, age 55, daughter Katrina, age 18, killed 2046 by a snatcher during the Bayreuth panic of the same year. Hmm, it do be Pegasus. <laughs> All right, I want to use the I want to use the disc. Go to our next session together. Can I use the disc here? Possessions. Did I take it? Did I take it or did I not take it? Um. Ask. I'm going to go back to the executive room. I don't know if I actually took that disc or not. Yeah, I didn't take it. Oops. <laughs> um, how do I take it? Well, it's a 
search the house, so maybe the next move. Oh, this is engineering. Well, so our new junker has returned. <laughs> I register high alcohol levels. Harry is intoxicated. I really... You know, I really thought you were better than that. <laughs> Harry! What kind of backup was that supposed to be? If you were a better junker than that, Jean... Jean wouldn't have had to die out there. Harry, that statement is incorrect. Don't worry about it, Metal. Harry's right. Jean... Sorry, it's... it's not your fault. <laughs> Metal, would you give Harry the memory chip we pulled out of Little John? Of course. Harry, this is Little John's memory chip. Uh-oh. Upset. Hmm. He has been drinking quite heavily. Still has the... Brandy bottle? Oh my god. Hey, don't touch me. <laughs> I mean, it's significant synthiol on his breath. <laughs> Forget about work, Gillian. I just can't get in the mood for that kind of thing right now. Well, you go and you sober up, mister. You leave me alone. I'm not in the mood for that right now. I think I'm going to take a vacation from work for a while. Hmm. I'll just, I'll just leave him to it. Try the shooting range. You should make practicing here a part of your daily routine. I'm already a pretty good shot. I fight the other day with the insectors. Their abilities do not even begin to compare with that of snatchers. Hmm. Go on then. I'll practice. She needs to set for introductory level. All right, let's begin practice with the Junker's Eye System. Perfect. Excellent, a perfect score. Well done. Superb job and no wasted shots either. You're a fine marksman. That's what I wanted. All right. Let's go. Let's go to the front. I'm sorry, Gillian. Would you mind leaving me alone? You should give her some time to, yeah. Console. I'm really sorry about Gibson, you know. Elaine, please just let me be for now, okay? All right, fine. Um, oh, I, th I don't think I can leave yet, actually. Um, all right, fine. Detective's room, let's see if I can work out how to take that disc. Let's investigate the locker. Can't hang inside yet. Yeah, there was a chess piece. All right. Okay. Right. How do I take it? Use metal gear. Oh. Let's use the video phone. Call. I don't know. I'm calling. What number should I dial? Um. I don't know. I regret this. Uh, <laughs> uh. The number you have reached.
speech is not in service at this time. Please check the number and dial again. This is a recording. JTNT Neo Kobe. No. <laughs> That's cool. Investigate. Yes. Oops. No, I don't want to go anywhere. Look. Chess piece. Chess piece. This could mean something metal. Let's hang on to it for evidence. Okay. Install this chess piece. I'm sure, it must mean something. All right. That's how I take stuff. This for a personal computer. This disc must have something to do with Jean's investigation. All right, I will store this disc. All right. Let's start medication. It's something to do with all this. Let's keep them. That will not be necessary. I've recorded the results of the analysis from their chemical composition. All right, maybe I can use the disc on the computer. information you wish to study you can look it up all right um possessions evidence that's a five inch floppy disk yeah can i use it very archaic mouse and keyboard <laughs> how come it's not voice recognition it's to prevent unauthorized use the keyboard's measures and records your pulse fingerprints body temperature and other data while you are using it all right One is operating normally. Uh, a personal computer. Oh, I don't think I can use it here. All right. Where should we go? Go to the front. Can I leave yet? I'm all right now. Gillian, you can't stay depressed over these things forever. Um, do something. Console. Smell? What? That's smelling. God. Gillian, some tact. Uh. Ah, into turbo cycle. <laughs> Wait, quote Ember? Wait, is the word Ember in there? I don't know. <laughs> That's weird. Mika, I'm heading out. Maybe you haven't said anything quotable here yet. Ow. Ah! <laughs> Ow. Thank you. I'm heading out to check on a few things. I've got a couple of leads. Really, don't worry yourself over Sean, okay? Thanks, Mika. Gillian? Yes, Mika. How are you and your wife doing? I haven't talked to her in a while. Not even on the video phone? No. You shouldn't leave her alone like that. That's right. Come to think of it, I have her number written down at home. I bet she's pretty lonely. I'm sure you're right. Thanks. Be careful, Gillian. We boarded the turbo cycle. Where would I like to go? I would like to go... I'd like to go to my apartment. If the search returns nothing, it just displays the most recent quote with a zero. Ah, okay. Heading to my apartment. Let's go have a look. We've arrived at your apartment. I think the big one had more than one... <laughs> Oh, it's fun guessing the game, isn't it? Right, exit. <coughs> Excuse me. This is your building, Gillian. Ooh. Wow, you mean I have a place to live too? 
Please tone it down, Gillian. I know you have lost your memory, but isn't that carrying the act a bit too far? Just trying to make things a little bit more fun for folks playing the game. Wow. Look. Apartment building. This is the apartment the government made available for you. The neighborhood's not much, but what a great looking building, eh? It's very blue. Right on the border between the north and south regions of the city. It's not exactly what you would call the best neighborhood. Can't complain too much. Rent is really high, even around here. It's a 20th century construction, but the building has been completely renovated. Yeah, but I can still hear my next door neighbors all the time. Right at the dividing line between the north and south regions, the population here is not particularly high. No convenience stores or delis in the area either. Shopping is really a pain. Alright, let's let's go in. This is your living room. For a widower, the room seems rather tidy. I'm quite impressed. Don't you ever shut up? Are you programmed to evaluate my personal life too? My duty is to support you and observe that you are properly carrying out your responsibilities as a junker. Some observer, you mean informer, right? Well, one could put it that way. Hmm. I should look for that number. Let's go around the room. I see nothing noteworthy. Oh, jeez. I'm sorry I leave such an ordinary life. Please do not get upset. You know that is not what I meant. Gillian, there's a photograph on the shelf. Yes, that's a very special picture for me. Look at the photo. There's a picture of Jamie. Ah oh yes, the wife you were separated from. She is very attractive. Come to think of it, I wrote Jamie's video number on the back of the picture. Alright. Rather young, but I can't remember when it was taken. She's very young in this picture, perhaps in her teens. She still looks like a such a little girl. Come to think of it, I wrote Jamie's video number on the back of the picture. Can I look at the back of the picture? There are some numbers written on the back. Three, uh, three, nine, three, four, four, four. Seems to be a video phone number. Three, nine, three, four, four, four. Okay. This is the number for Jamie's apartment. Why don't you try giving her a call? Do you let me handle my own personal life? <laughs> All right. Let's give Jamie a call. Ask metal number. Call. What number should I dial? Oops. No. Bars. Okay. It's three nine three four four four. Whoa. Oh, is that you, Gillian? I was just getting to sleep. Well, sorry. Scan on a date, show possessions. Uh, talk, I guess. Your feelings. Jamie, I'm not sure how to say this, but I really want to make it up with you. I want to try again. Please don't say that, Gillian, right now. I think the two of us are better off apart. I'm sure of it. Lol. I don't care if my memory comes back or not. I just want a second chance with you, Jamie. Gillian, I'm just so sick of our hurting each other. Memories are important for any couple. I can't handle the life of lies. Jamie, we can make our own memories together. Wait, Gillian, I don't know about this right now. No job. Looks like this junker business is more dangerous than I thought it would be. Gillian. But it's still not as bad as boot camp. <laughs> I need to empty my bottom. <laughs> <laughs> that might take a while. <laughs> I'm a lot more relaxed working like this as a junker. And you're pushing yourself too hard. Well, it's pretty scary sometimes. But now I've got a definite goal, something to live for. I was really surprised when I heard you'd become a junker. I'm sorry. It was really hard for me to try to tell you. That's all right. Besides, we live near each other. We can meet any time. Call me if anything comes up, okay? All right. Ask. Name his condition. So how are you doing? I'm 
I'm getting by all right. How about you, Gilling? Are you eating properly? What are you, my mom? Yeah, I'm doing okay. I miss your great Paschetti, though. Paschetti? Oh, that's cute. You still call it that? What's Paschetti? I want to know now. Same as always, keeping myself busy so the loneliness doesn't have time to sink in. Wow, mood. Work. How's your job going? Are you still working at Kobe Pharmaceuticals? Yes. This work really suits me. I almost feel like I've been doing it for years. I'm surprised how you keep up with such a technical field. It surprises even me. I guess I still remember some of what I used to know. Yeah, I was going to ask you had amnesia. You remember pharmaceutical stuff? That's kind of impressive. I'm hoping that doing this job may help bring my memory back. Any sign your memory may be coming back? I'm afraid not. I can't remember anything about living together with you or having fun together. What about you, Gillian? It's the same for me. I can't remember anything from before I woke up in that bed in the army hospital. <laughs> What's going on? Snatcher. Has anything funny happened to you lately? Gillian, if I was a snatcher, could you kill me? Hmm. Why are you asking me questions like that? Well? I don't know. I really don't. I've always liked that part of your personality, but Gillian, be careful. It could get you killed in that job you're doing. Hmm. Well, I have two. But everybody's treating it like UFOs or a lot mess monster. Nobody believes it. They say it's just a creation of the mass media. Fake news. Hmm. Maybe it's better they think that. Well, I'm sorry, after all. You are a junker, aren't you? What kind of dreams have you had lately? Are you still seeing that same one? Yes, it's that same one over and over. That one, huh? Yeah, I'm carrying a child and running from a fire. But no matter how much I run, the fire doesn't get any further away. Then what? It gets hotter and hotter until I can't stand it, then I leave the child and run. You leave the child? And the flames grow brighter. They grow and grow. And what about the kid? The child is... The child is as cold as ice. He's willing to sacrifice. Why don't you record that thing for me with the dream corder? There's a dream corder in this? Cool. Why? I want to see the same dream as you. No, I hate that dream. I wouldn't want anyone else to see it. But Jamie, it might have something to do with our past. Hmm. Negligee. Now, Jamie, what? Come Gillian, it's not like this is uncharted territory, my dude. What are you talking about, Gillian? Well, you know, I bet you're not wearing anything. Of course not. I don't wear any underwear when I sleep. Aha, so that means... Jamie, look out. There's a big roach on your bed. Ah, where? It just went under the sheets. Really? Yeah, you better pull those sheets off quickly, or... Where? Where is it? Hurry, Jamie. Oh, I can't stand this. Ah, where is it? Jamie, you've got to pull those sheets back quickly. The sheets, everything, pull it all off. Yeah, she figured it out. Jamie? Uh, Jamie? Gillian? Wow, it just got awkward. There's no roach, is there? You never change, do you? Sorry. Wow. <laughs> and on that note, ask her out on a date. <laughs> Ooh, where should we go? <gasps> go for a meal? Musical, zoo, ocean amusement park, races, hotel. <gasps> We've got the arcade. Yes. Why don't we head over to the Hoverland Arcade? It's a lot bigger than Mind Wave, and there's a lot of couples there these days. I'll grab a cute stuffed animal for you with one of those super conducting cranes. I'm good friends with one of the employees over there, so I can always get prizes. I'm sorry, Gillian. I just don't feel like doing that kind of thing yet. Hmm. All right, fine. Let's see if she wants to go to the zoo. Why don't we visit the bio zoo? I hear a baby unicorn. I hear a baby unicorn's been born over there, and I hear there's an exhibition of works by Carmeisenhaufen. I'm sorry, Gillian. I just don't feel like doing that kind of thing yet. <clears throat> I guess unicorns are unicorns are canon in. <laughs> in the Metal Gear universe. 
Hmm. Let's. How about. Ooh. Let's go. Let's go to the races, maybe? Oh, God. Imagine giving birth as a unicorn. It's just. Yeah, it's just the end point that hurts. Let's go to the dragon. Let's go see dragon horses. Yeah, dragon horses. Dragon, dragon, dragon horses. You always liked horses, right? Besides, the Arima Cup is coming up pretty soon. I'm sorry, I just don't feel like doing that kind of thing. Hmm. Fine. Then, how about... Hotel? Why don't we share a quiet drink over at the lounge at the Neo Porto... Portopia Hotel? Jamie, you've always liked moon salt, right? Hmm, I don't feel like doing that right now. Well, what do you want to do? You tell me! How about... Ocean? Let's go to the beach. Where should we go? How about Ashaya Bay or Old Suma? Wait, I know. Let's go to Maiko Park. It's sealed off, but I know a way back in. It'll be okay. I have my Junker Pass. Besides, it's an all-weather type beach. It won't be that cold. I'm sorry. I don't feel like doing that right now. Oh, you're scarred from having your appendix out, right? When are you ever going to stop worrying about that? Hey, having your appendix out hurts. I know about that. I'm sorry, I just don't feel like doing that kind of thing yet. <laughs> I skipped a line of dialogue because I thought there was a, that she was even saying that. All right, how about ah, a musical? How about a musical? There's some really interesting robot musicals playing. How about Phantom of the Opera? No, I don't feel like doing that kind of thing yet. All right, how about food? You want to go get some food? Talk to me a bit over dinner or something. We haven't been out in so long. I'm sorry, I just don't feel like doing that kind of thing yet. All right, fine. I don't even know why I bothered. I'll show you my cash. Here you go. Oh, Gillian, I'm not having any more money problems right now. I've got a good job. Don't worry about me. That's really nice. How do you finally get something to identify yourself with? Wow. Well, I'll show her, I'll show her the... Uh, what is this? Floppy disk. Jeez, I haven't seen one of those in ages. <laughs> chess piece. That's a chess piece. It certainly is. You know, your observation skills are brilliant. Um, Snatcher. Jamie, you should probably stay indoors at night. That's where Snatchers are most active. It's dangerous. I'll be fine, Gillian. Why would they ever want to go after me? They only want VIPs, right? I'm really sorry, but I have to hang up now. Sorry. Oh. Good job, Gillian. You blew that. Mm. Move into bathroom. Yeah, we're in the bathroom. Look around bathroom. Very standard bathroom. Low cost energy conserving unit type sink and shower have been installed. Low cost. Well, excuse me. <laughs> I wouldn't. I would imagine newcomers give birth like in a sack like rhinos. Huh. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I didn't know they did that. Hmm. Sink. There's a bottle of perfume and a razor. All right. Perfume, then, I guess. It's Jamie's favorite perfume. It's almost as if her scent still lingers in the air. He'll be back someday. I promise you. If I could live with Jamie, I suppose I could put it with being your navigator for a while longer. Well, you've got good taste in women. Yes. It's the first time we've agreed on anything. Perhaps. Of course, my taste in women was programmed from your personal data. If that's true, then you should understand what I'm going through right now. Huh? What's wrong, Metal? I just couldn't help but be overcome by how miserable your life is. Jeez, you and I are definitely not on the same wavelength. It's the latest micro laser. Feather type. Gillian, why don't you try shaving? Hmm. I want to shave. Investigate perfume. Uh, this is the famous Le Smell de Amour. That's right, it's Jamie's favorite. Do something. This will give you the closest, most comfortable shave a man can experience. Do something. Smell. Oh, Jamie. Does the scent remind you of her? Uh, no, nothing. Whoops, got caught in a sentimental moment there. <laughs> Do Pegasuses lay eggs? Um, good question, Ember. 
Care to comment? Do something. Can I shave? Hey, I think I'll shave. Feel better now? Yeah, and more handsome too. And there's no way Jamie will be able to resist me. <laughs> of course, the punchline here comes with when she does turn you down. Wait a minute. Maybe I should let my beard grow a bit. Look a little scraggly. Try to appeal to her motherly instincts. You will just get yourself into trouble. Hmm. Good to know. <laughs> Uh, is there anything else in here? Well, I guess I'm going over to the other house. Enter Turbo Cycle. Let's go to John Jock's place. Gibson's house. Yeah, that's it. Let's go. This is Gibson's house. Hmm. Feels suspicious. Yes, this is the home that Jean was so proud of. It's rather nice looking. Early American type home. There's a light coming from the windows. Appear to be auto tint glass. The interior is clearly visible. The lots are zoomed, zoned rather large out here. The next door neighbors are a good distance away. They investigate the area. Roads and sidewalks are well maintained. Good to know. I, re I read motion. Someone's inside. The door on the front is the main entrance. There does not appear to be a doorbell. How about if we try knocking? Sure, why not? Katrina, are you in there? Who is it? Talk. I'm a junker. I just started down at Junker Headquarters. Name's Gillian. Pretty sure the chief would have let her know. Are you really a junker? If you are, then show me some proof. A junker ID? Yes. Uh, possessions. Go. That. Is genuine? I can trust you with just chat. Tell me how my. Tell me old. Oh, tell how old father is. If you're a real junkie, you'd know that. He was 55. Use the directional buttons and press start when you're finished. He was 55. That's right. Still not a trust. Oh. Now, how about I ask you something about myself? Ooh. What is it with all these questions? She knows that as a junkie, you should have access to Alpha One. So that means there should be some information on her in Jordan, right? She's a very smart girl. I have a unique mark on my body. What type of mark is it? You put your answer and then press the start button. Okay, B R B. Okay. Hmm. You have a birthmark, I guess. Answer this question, and I trust you. <laughs> well, I still don't trust you. <laughs> yep. Did you have a birthmark? That's easy. A birthmark. That's right, now tell me the sh- uh-oh, tell me the shape. And put your answer and then press the start button. It was in the shape of... The... It 
was in the shape of Grover Cleveland. <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> this should be about right. No, it is not about right. You just made a wild guess, didn't you? If you're a real drunkard, try again. Um, well, I guess I'm going back to Jordan. I do remember reading it, but I don't remember what it was. Junk HQ, please. out and find Jordan. How was your day? Are you making any progress in your investigation? Let's come out Buffalo Restaurant. Hmm. Buffalo? I've never heard of any place that served that. I ask about Katrina. I feel so sorry for his daughter. She's all alone now. Um, yeah, I'll move. Go to the computer room. Use Jordan. Yep. Set your ID card. Sure. Hope I don't lose that at some point. I need an ID file, please. Did I search Katrina? I don't remember doing that, actually. I might have searched somebody else. R, please. Thank you. Katrina. Katrina Gibson, age 18. Won Miss 17 contest in 2046. Currently a popular model in holographic advertisements. Dislikes identical by heart shaped birthmark on inner thigh. Heart shaped birthmark, inner thigh. Alright. I have the info I need. Hi, uh, I'm, I'm going now. Bye. Oh, yeah. So how are we all doing in chat? Hope we've all had great days today. It was nice and sunny out. And then it rained for a bit. And then it was sunny again. Work was smelly. Uh -huh. Katrina, are you in there? If you're a drunker, let's see some proof. Oh boy. Okay. Suits you. <laughs> wow. Check ID. Not only enough. Answer the question. Okay. Answer the question. Uh, Katrina, one more time. What type of mark do I have on my body? Put your answer and then press start. It was a birthmark. Ember is bullying. Ember no bully. <laughs> well, I'll time, time out. Time you out. That's easy. Birthmark. Yay. Give me the shape. Now, do I just put heart or heart shaped? I'll just put heart. Oops. Heart shaped. Heart shaped. Yeah, okay, that's right. And finally, where is the birthmark located? You put your answer. Mm hmm. In a. Uh... <clears throat> 
in a thigh. It's pretty embarrassing, but at least I know you're the real thing. I'm very sorry about all of that. I'm Katrina Gibson, Jean's daughter. I'm... I'm so sorry. What's the matter, Mr. Steed? I'm very sorry, Katrina. It's my fault your father's dead. Gillian. No, if I could have gotten there just a little sooner, your father might still be alive. Oh, Mr. Seed, I appreciate your feelings, but I was always ready for the worst with my father. Every day as I watched him leave for work, will it be today, tomorrow, I knew it was a dangerous job. Katrina, that's... Well, I'm a Junker's daughter. Do you think you'll be all right by yourself? I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. I can take care of myself. Besides, I don't think I have any tears left. Katrina, are you sure? Okay, Junker, you've got work to do, right? Keep yourself busy. That's the best way to take your mind off of it. Okay, Katrina, you're probably right. I'll appreciate any help you can give me on this investigation. Soul, wipe away tears. Suede. <laughs> Look, Katrina. Hmm, abundant natural resources. No wonder she's working as a model. Gillian, please restrain yourself. Antiques everywhere. All of these are quite impressive pieces of furniture. The house is full of this stuff. Dad, Dad kept buying things long after we were out of places to put them. <laughs> well, that feeling. Let's get around the room. He has paid a lot of attention to the decor and layout of the place. Pretty stupid since there were only two of us here, huh? He has paid a lot of attention. Oh, yeah. Okay. None of these items are replicas. They're all genuine antiques. This stuff is really valuable. He said it was all used. Hmm. Ask about. I didn't really talk much with my dad lately. He's always so busy investigating stuff, cooped up in that study. Hmm. I mean, I'm just a spoiled brat who never cared about her parents. You know anything about buffalo places? <laughs> Do you know any places that serve buffalo? We found buffalo in your dad's stomach. Buffalo? We've never had that here. Gross. Buffalo? I never eat that. Oh, oh go on then. I'm sold. I'm sure all of this is quite a shock for you. Don't worry. I'm here for you anytime. You can lean on me. Oh, Gillian, spare us, please. Thank you. You're a really nice man, Gillian. Aww. Yeah, let me wipe your tears. <laughs> Gillian, I saw you blow your nose into that handkerchief. Oh, thanks, Metal. You just killed that. Shut up. Damn, I hope she doesn't notice. <laughs> thanks, Gillian. Persuade. Are you busy tonight, Katrina? Why don't we go out? Are you kidding? Hmm. Alright. Let's move to the study. Mind if I take a look in the study? Go ahead. This is Gibson's study. This is my dad's study. I haven't touched a thing. It's just the way he left it before he died. Hmm. Around the room, everything's neat and tidy. Just like Jean. Wait, there's a personal computer here. There's a bottle, a photograph, and a chessboard on the shelf. out the bottle. It's still full. It appears to be new. Right. It's a photograph of Jean-Jacques Gibson. It's a chess set. The pieces are very neatly arranged. My dad really liked chess, but he always seemed disappointed because I couldn't play. Why didn't he teach you? Investigate window. There's a double locking mechanism. My dad was always really careful. Let's 
Olympic chessboard. The Black Queen is missing. I see, the Queen is missing, eh? The design of this set matches that of the piece we found in John's coat. The piece I've got definitely goes to this set. Right, can we use it? Possessions. Evidence. Evidence the one which goes next to the King. Let's take it from the chess set that John's on. What could it mean? This must have some secret meaning. show her it. Now this is my dad's. Where did you find it? I've been looking for that chess piece. It was the only one missing from the board. The Black Queen is missing. Yeah, how do I, can I use it? Do I have to move to it? No. This chess set of pieces are very neatly arranged. Um, Alright, I'll ask. Oh no, I can't ask anything. about this looks like the ones my dad always used on the PC-68 alright paper that's my dad's handwriting he was always leaving memos all over the place to search the house know hmm. anything about this the key to your father's desk. Nobody uses keys like that anymore. Hmm. This is the model PC-68 Genesis. These have not been manufactured for nearly 50 years. My father was always using it. Some junk shop gave it to him and he fixed it up. Good. You should always fix up old machines. So, you use old John looks rather young. Actually, do you mind if I borrow this picture for a few days? Right ahead. I have stored John's picture. Okay. I'll investigate the bottle too. Now analyzing. It's sunscreen. It's a standard type designed to block ultraviolet rays. There's a sticker on the bottle. This is probably from the place where it was bought. It's done with everything. Plato's cap. How did he figure on sunscreen? There must be some meaning. Yeah, I'm taking the sunscreen. Thank you. Black Queen is missing. What else can I do? Can I miss a good computer? There's a five-inch disk drive installed. Five-inch, huh? Well, then that disk must be for this machine. Ah. Let's try to see if we can read it. Possessions, use disc. Let's turn on the PC-68 and see if we can read the disc. So the house in that search the house was referring to Gibson's house. And the exclamation point was not an exclamation point at all. It was a symbol for the five inch floppy disc. Closely, the pattern matches the read-write holes on the disc. He even knew the little dot to represent the index hole. I wonder what that little dot was for. In other words, he meant to put the disc in the PC-68 at his house. No doubt Jean was working, was worried that something might happen to him and he prepared the disc for just such an emergency. She was reading. Here it is. Snatcher investigation file. Why do Snatchers appear in the winter? Why are Snatchers nocturnal? I believe I have found the answer to these questions. Snatchers' vampire-like behavior is due to their desire to avoid exposure to sunlight. The reason they dislike sunlight is because of their defective artificial skin. Long-term exposure to ultraviolet rays causes overproduction of melanocytes in the epidermis of their artificial skin, leading to a form of skin cancer with the characteristics of melanoma. In other words, what we call simple sunburn is fatal to them. This relationship between ultraviolet rays and their artificial skin 
should give us a way to track them down. It should take at least six more months before they can develop a form of skin which overcomes this defect. These conclusions suggest several useful methods for locating and identifying snatchers. One, investigate skin condition. Check for any evidence of melanoma. Two, check for odor. Cancer cells secrete a unique foul odor. Three, the presence of pollen. Snatchers are believed to hide in areas plentiful in Snow 9, a snow-like bioengineered pollen crystal. As such, Snow 9 can always be detected in places they appear. Snow 9 is an allergen, causing throat pain and sneezing. Four, possession of sunscreen. In order to protect their skin from ultraviolet rays, snatchers use sunscreen even in the dead of winter. This is due to sunscreen's ability to block ultraviolet rays. Of these techniques, one in four should prove particularly useful. In addition, besides working to prevent this skin cancer, snatchers maintain facilities for treating artificial skin which has actually become cancerous. I have succeeded in identifying the hospital where this is performed. P.S. Watch out for a bounty hunter named Random Hajil. So that's it, eh? He's found their weak point. No doubt Jean was killed because they had learned he had found their hospital. Hmm. Interesting. Ask. Ask about the PC. So my dad's personal computer used it like a diary. I can't believe my dad left a message like that. Okay, but can I use the chess piece? Peaches are very neatly arranged. Alright, anything out the window? You can see the garden from here. The garden, wow, his own house with a garden and everything. Yeah, but it faces north and it's really quite small. What's wrong with Alice? Is there something out there? A snatcher, maybe. Katrina, you stay here. All right, we got, we got ourselves a problem. Okay, Alice. Seems frightened of something. It's not the wind, something appears to be in the thicket. I'm getting some interference from the streetlights, my senses are not at full capacity. Investigate Alice. Really, I'm not very good with dogs, you know. Investigate <laughs> the bush, something is hiding in the thicket. Investigate the shadows. I'm reading motion, something is moving. Calm, Alice. Good dog, good girl, Alice. What's the matter? What? Ah, it's just a crow. Stupid bird. Stupid bird. You made me look bad. <laughs> Blaming dog. Dog is a purebred Doberman pincher. And a popular breed in Neocobe after golden retrievers. Guard dogs have become more popular since the snatcher problem started, right? Yes, until then, the cuddly breeds were popular. Hmm. There aren't many streetlights here. I can't see much. There's nothing here. Uh, okay. Return to study, I guess. Just give some study. Don't worry, it was just a raven. Oh, really? Hmm. We'll see about that. Uh, look. I suppose a good job I looked out the window. Investigate. Chessboard. Ooh. 
Ask about Alice. Alice is our dog. Dad named her after Mom after she died. You saw her too, right, Gillian? Isn't she cute? the same thing. Eh. Oh no, I can't skip. <laughs> well, we're stuck here for a bit, so... Eh. Sneeze, you were wanting to go after me? What were you, were you thinking of doing some more Hades? Ah! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Thank you. You were thinking of doing some more Hades, right? Or something else? Sunscreen in the dead of winter. Yeah, you could do a shotgun if you're finishing up. Yeah, I might finish up. I might save here and uh, leave it for next time because I probably should keep an eye on stuff that's going on. For work. All right. I'm going to use Metal Gear and I'm going to save. Save everything as... Yeah, if you want to fire stuff up, um, I am ready to do your raid whenever. Which file number we'd like to save in. Previous saves, is it okay for me to overwrite? Yes, it is. Save completed. Would you like to continue playing? I will finish. I think I'm done for now. All right, that's enough for now. Gillian, I hope we can continue our investigation together soon. Interesting game, this. Alright, but yeah, that'll do it for now. That was, no, that was two hours. That was just right. Okay, um, we will sit at title screen. Five and two. See you on the other side. Thanks for the stream. No problem. I'll probably pick this up um, at another point in the week. Not sure when. This week's looking to be fairly busy for me. But I do want to do potentially another Pokemon card unboxing, un un opening thing, maybe, because it was fun the last time. So I got some more and I was like, yeah, let's do that again. I ah, have no idea when, but we'll see. <coughs> but thank you, every thank you, everybody, for. Um... Ow! <laughs> thank you. The, yeah, thank you for uh, hanging out. We will continue next time. And I certainly hope that my Sega C CD battery holds out. I replaced it recently. So, yeah, let's hope uh, let's hope it stays active for a bit. So, all right, I'm going to wait until Sneeze is, uh, Sneeze is just about ready. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, this game's a... Uh, very interesting, a lot of fun. Um, definitely sl s snow paced, slow paced. Um, quite different, but yeah. Looking forward to seeing what happens next. Right, let me uh, let's see if sneeze has started. Um. Un momento. Yep, okay. Sneeze has started, so we'll do a raid right now. Uh, let me see if I do this right. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Uh, I will post on the schedule when I'm next going to, to stream. I'm not going to make any promises. But for now, take care. Have a great rest of your week. And we'll talk to you later. I'm going to hand it over to Sneeze for a raid. Bye-bye.